how many of my viewers or whatever, how many people see this, actually work in retail, but if you do, you might know where I'm coming for with this. Now, anybody who says, oh, retail is the easiest job there is, obviously never worked in retail, and I would like to smack these people to say that because you know, they probably have real jobs, but either way, <laughs> for those of us that are stuck in the retail, for to have some pretentious douche come up, oh, it's the easiest job you ever had, you're, you're morons, okay? Don't, don't ever say that to anybody. Whether they work in retail or not, whether you did or not, don't say that. Alright? So, anyway, really not the point of my video, but I thought I'd just shoot, I'd just put that out there. Um, on to the topic of the video, you know, sometimes, you know, you help people, and from a technological standpoint, they don't get it. That's basically where I'm going with this. Is like, there's some people, you know, you, you answer all the questions, you give them the right answers, no matter what you tell them, they just don't get it. And sometimes, for the most part, it's older people. You know, I'm not sitting here, I'm not trying to, like, rag on old people, because I know I, I talk to a lot of uh, older people who, who you know, they, they're, they're pretty up... They're in the know. They know what they're talking about. They know what they're looking for. They got it, and they're on point. And they just have like maybe a few basic questions to confirm some things. But for the most part, they know what they're looking for. They know what they're doing. But some people who are like 102, yet somehow want a like an iPad or a or a new smartphone for whatever reason. You know, they don't even know if they want it. They, they, they just think they have to have it or whatever. I, I remember one time I was helping this lady, and she did not want a phone. She did not want an iPhone. But I, I felt like I felt bad for her because it felt like her family was just like holding a gun to her head, saying, "You are going to get this iPhone." She was perfectly happy with her old flip phone. She's like, "There's nothing wrong with it." She loved it. They're making it, and she was just so angry that they're making her get this phone. I felt bad. I, I felt like I was like, I felt like I was a part of a crime helping with this could I can just tell she didn't want it but anyway my point is is like I came up with an idea and I've run it by a few people and so far a lot of people think it's a good idea I, I told my friend one time about this plan and he told his mom and his, his mom loved the idea she's like hey I like that idea I, I, I got no problem with that so I, if I were ever become president which that would be so awesome. I would change so many things, or at least I would think I would change so many things. One of the things I would make, I, I, I would clear out a part of the country. Excuse me. I would clear out a part of the country, and I would call it 1930s land. Let me tell you, explain what 1930s land looks like. The whole thing is modeled after everything, buildings, everything, modeled after 19 technology-wise, modeled after 1930s. You know, minus the, minus the depression. All right, we'll leave that out. <laughs> we'll make sure it's a prosperous 1930s land. So everything's like 1930s, and when you reach the age of 65, you have to take a test, a technology test, I guess. I don't know. If you pass this test, you get to stay in regular America. Things go on. You understand how technology works. You're good to go. If you fail this test, I'm sorry, but we have to ship you off to 1930s land. Now, let me explain something about 1930s land. It is not really a punishment, okay? It's just that someplace we think you'd be more comfortable living. I mean, I'm talking about rotary phones. I don't know how many people know what the hell they, I'm talking about by a rotary phone. It's those things that are like that, you know. There's no cell phones. There are no computers. That None of that is here in 1930s land. But 1930s land will have theaters. It'll have restaurants. People can get jobs. You know, I'm not. I'm not like... I know Pugman's like, oh, why would you put all these people, that, that's, that's being a dick move, that's like being Hitler, and that's not even close, alright, I'm telling you, these people would be well taken care of, they would have their commerce, they would have their form of government, they would have, like, you know, everything would just be modeled after 1930s, the theaters, the restaurants, the streets, the cars, I don't know, maybe we'll make, like, retro cars, I don't have to, didn't have to be cars, but I don't know how big 1930s land would be, I, I, I figured I'd just, like, take Florida, I mean, that's big enough, right? I could fit, like, all of 1930s land. Because most... It's, we're all, it's old people. Normal people aren't going to live there. 
I mean, unless they really want to. I mean, I wouldn't really deny people. Maybe there are people like a regular age, and they're like, hey, I want to live there. You know, just get, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, you know, like I said, and people can go visit. And these people can come visit normal America. You know, they can visit the normal technology. They can visit regular America, and it'd be fine. You know, they can come visit, and they go back, and family can go visit them there. It's not like it's going to be closed off. It's just that if you don't pass the technology test, you can't stay in regular America because you don't get it. I know it seems like a dick move, but I promise you these people will be taken care of. All right? I would make sure that they have every food, everything will be there. It's not like, I mean, everything will be as normal. Like I said before, it's just like I said, everything modeled after 1930s. I mean, how is that a bad thing? I mean, these people will probably love it, you know? And you'd be like, oh, this is so great. Oh, I can just do whatever. And as long, you know, there, there, there'd be police. Everything will be there. Everything that we have here would be there minus the technology of the modern world. Everything should be like 1930s. And I think this would be a fair trade, because think about it. I mean, for me personally, I mean, if I, I am wondering what kind of things are going to confuse me when I get old enough. Because you know, you, you, I wonder that sometimes. I see these people; they're like, they're just like, they're all easy. You know, people from like the past generation, from the forties, fifties, they're all old now. Like things offend them. They things things uh things confuse them. I'm often I often wonder myself what is going to offend and confuse me by the time I get to that, to that age. It's, it's a good question if you think about it because it's like, after all we do, you know, the bad language, the movies, the violence, the technology, all this, what, how could, what could possibly happen like 30, 40 years from now that I'm gonna be like, well, I never. I mean, seriously, I just, I, I always wondered that, like what's gonna confuse and offend me when I get old enough. So. That is my proposal. I mean, like I said, it's not anything bad. You can visit here. You can visit there. You just have to live and take residence there by law because you don't understand how things work in the modern world. And like I said, everything, everybody will be taken care of. There's no... Other than, you know, there's really no discrimination. Anybody can live there. Race, religion, doesn't matter. If you don't pass this test and you're 65, we're gonna have to put you back in 1930s life. I mean, if you pass the test, you get to stay. But I'm just saying, it's just a thought I'm throwing out there. So uh, if anybody uh, is interested in that, just throw it out there. You know, 1930s land. I mean, some people need to go there. Trust me when I say this; it's true. I myself maybe one day might want to go there when I'm t when I'm done. I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm like 70 years old. Screw this world. I'm going to go live in 1930s land, because it's a simpler time. Maybe by then I'll make 1980s land. That'd be cool.